Oh, hey guys. It's been a while, I know. Yeah, that's because of this guy. This is my puppy. He woke me up because he had to pee. I haven't slept in five days. Way back in December, my family decided to get a puppy. Going in, we were expecting a calm, peaceful dog who loved to lay around all the time and soak in life. But instead, we got months of stress, sleepless nights, countless bite marks, and are currently rethinking our life choices. He has taken up all of our free time, and our reward for our patience is him licking our faces right after licking his butt. This is Copper, a 25-pound cockapoo that likes to eat everything. Seriously, even after having a puppy for this long, it always surprises me how they just like to eat stuff. I can't count how many times I've pulled little things out of Copper's mouth. Copper, this is a nail. What is the appeal to this? Copper is actually really bad about eating things. When he was really young, I used to let him roam around my room while I nonchalantly watched. But that was before... The incident. He is now never allowed in my room ever. Here's the story. One night when my family wasn't home, I was on babysitter duty and was playing with Copper for a couple of hours. At one point, he ran into my room and went under my bed, so I had to lure him out of there. I didn't think anything of it because he was in there for maybe like 15 seconds. We continued playing until my family showed up and once they did, I went back into my room. I was about to start working and I realized my drawing glove was missing. After realizing it was missing, I immediately thought, that's weird. Literally, how did I lose it? I mean, I put it in the same spot every single time. I then checked basically everywhere I had been in the last hour and nothing. It was like my drawing glove had disappeared. After a couple of days of using my old crusty drawing glove, the mystery was solved. Lo and behold, my mother found the drawing glove with throw up all over it in Copper's crate. Turns out in that 15 seconds of him being in my room, he somehow got my drawing glove off of my desk, went under my bed, then ran out from under my bed, played with me for like 20 more minutes before my family showed up, all while hiding my glove. Like, where was it the whole time? So like, do you want me to wash it or what? No, that's disgusting. Now you may be thinking, seriously, your puppy eats a drawing glove one time and he's banned from your room. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this has happened four times. Four, four times? Four <laughs> times! He, he's eaten your drawing glove four times? He has eaten four of them! <laughs> yes, you heard that right. My puppy has fully eaten four drawing gloves. And I'm not even kidding, at the time of writing this script, I have no idea where my drawing glove is. So I had to order a new one for the sixth time this year. I just don't see the appeal with eating them. It's like me eating a shirt. <laughs> The last time Copper ate one of my drawing gloves, I was in a rush leaving the house and went into the bathroom to get ready. Before doing so, I made sure to shut the door. And after being in the bathroom for literally two minutes, I saw my bedroom door was open, I ran inside, saw a mess, and realized my drawing glove was missing. So somehow, Copper got in and wreaked havoc. What else is new? I guess he can open doors now. So, to get revenge, I have eaten his rubber ball, pooped in his bed, and shaved his head. And of course, a couple days later, my mom found the drawing glove outside covered in poop. I mean, like... I can wash it, or... Can you stop? What is wrong with you? Raising you has made me immune to being disgusted by poop. Nothing has compared to the poop tsunami of 2004. What? Even though Copper has eaten drawing gloves on multiple occasions and I've threatened to throw him out on the street, he is a really friendly dog. He loves people, probably a little too much. And every time I have a friend in the car and have to stop in my house real quick, I prepare them for what they're about to experience. Yeah, to be fair, I warned you about this. That's another thing. Copper's breed has really long legs compared to other dogs, so he just likes to jump all the time. We're trying to get him to stop, but, you know, we're also trying to get him to stop eating drawing gloves, but we've been unsuccessful in both. Speaking of trying to get him to stop doing terrible things, training. Training a puppy is really essential. As of writing this script, Copper is currently in training. For a while, we kind of just figured we'd train him on our own, but it just got to a point where, yeah, we knew we needed an expert. Before bringing him to training, Copper had this really bad habit of getting on our table. Now, I don't know if it's boyish curiosity, but for some weird reason, this guy loves to get on our table. When Copper was four months old and this big, he figured out a way to get on there. The first time it happened, I was in my room and stepped out and saw Copper eating an entire apple pie. Then a couple days later, it turned into me seeing him eat a plant, and then candy, and coffee. Yeah, you get the point. For a long time, we had the chairs around our table stacked in the living room because we literally couldn't have any around because he would figure out a way to get up there. Somewhere in his crate, there's probably a list he created of different ways to get up there. I don't know. Nowadays, it's really infrequent for Copper to get on the table. I think he understands that he's basically had every taste known to puppy kind up there, so he's kind of just not interested anymore. So we put our chairs back, and we don't have to sit around the floor anymore for Sunday dinner. 
This is really good. Here's a fun story. One night I got home after playing Ultimate Frisbee and was extremely hungry, but also very sweaty and disgusting. The game plan was to shower and get ready for our night out on the town, but more realistically to strive to Popeyes or something. After my shower, I was getting ready in the bathroom and I heard what sounded like my sister putting Copper to bed in his crate. So since I thought he was in his crate, this is a very important detail, I left my bedroom door wide open. But as I was leaving my house, I turned and saw Copper lying down in the living room and thought, aw, how cute. Then I laughed without thinking because I was ravenous. When I got home, I went into my room and my spidey sense was tingling. <gasps> they forgot the napkins! Also, my room is messy. Hey, did someone get into my room? Something's off. Oh yeah, Copper was in there for a while and then I got him out of there and put him to bed. I ran back into my room, frantically looked around, and realized one of my AirPods was missing. <sighs> Do you know if Copper got one of my AirPods? I don't know, dude. Gee, you're a great help. After about a half hour of plotting how to sell my dog on eBay, I eventually found my AirPod under my bed, and it was completely destroyed. Though I was still furious at Copper for getting into my room again, and this time ruining something that costs hundreds of dollars, I had hope. Basically, when I first bought my AirPods from a certain fruit-related company, the lady selling them told me to get a warranty, because if I did and my AirPods broke, I could get a new pair for free. So the next day, I strolled into said fruit-related store and asked them about it. And this is literally how it went. Hey, so my puppy fully chewed up this AirPod and- Ooh, that's rough, buddy. R right, okay, so the last time I was here, I was told if my AirPods were broken, I could get a new pair for free if I had the warranty. So I got the warranty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah, uh, I don't know what that lady was on. There's still a $30 fee with a warranty. <sighs> My AirPods are broken, right? Yup. I have a warranty on these, right? Yup. So if that's the case, I should get a new pair for free, right? That makes sense to me. So can I have a free pair? There's a $30 fee. <laughs> Even though Copper has eaten everything I know and love, he's lucky he's super cute. Otherwise, I would have killed him like three drawing gloves ago. I haven't really touched on the first couple of weeks of having Copper, and that's because I still have nightmares about it. The first couple of weeks were probably the most stressed out I have ever been in my life, and anyone in my family has ever been. I'm pretty sure by week two, we all wanted to kill each other. Nathan, 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 wake up! What, what, what is it? I need you to watch the dog. It's five in the morning. I need you to play with him. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. Learning how to navigate around raising a puppy who literally has no idea what anything is has been one of the hardest things our family has gone through. But we've done it together. And Copper is shaping up to be a pretty great dog. He loves playing fetch. He loves laying by our doors when we're in there. He loves people. He loves to stick by us when we're around the house. He loves licking us. It may be a little bit too much. He loves to run, he loves to eat ice, grass, shoes, toys. He's, he's a character. In conclusion, do I recommend anyone watching this video to get a puppy? Absolutely not. Maybe a dog that's a couple years old will suffice. By the time this video comes out, Copper is most likely fixed, and you know what that means. Your Lydian Jen's here, buddy. Your sons or daughters will never follow in your paw prints and eat my drawing gloves, because they'll never exist. What do you have to say about that? Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I know it's been a long time, I was working on a new video for three months and then I scrapped it and realized I needed way more help on the videos. So thanks to my amazing team for making this video the best it can be. Without them, this video wouldn't look nearly as good. Make sure to check them all out. If you're watching this video the day it comes out, I'm currently traveling, which means we had a deadline for this video. So over the last couple of weeks, me and the team literally worked our butts off to get this video done. I now have no butt. And it's all your fault. Thanks again for watching the video. I'm sure if Copper had any concept of how the internet worked, he would say hi, but for now, here's this video. Thanks, guys. Take care.